The Customs House in Hamilton, Ontario was built in 1860 to handle the trade from the port and the new Great Railway Line. It is one of the city's oldest and most majestic buildings. It also happens to be one of its most haunted. Its oldest resident ghost is known as the Dark Lady. I used to go to the Moy Street School back in the 1940s. This particular day it was really cold so a couple of friends and I decided to go and eat our lunch in the stairwell at the Customs House. Something just caught my eye and I just happened to look up and I saw this lady. She was all dressed in old fashioned clothes and she looked so sad and lonely and I just couldn't take my eyes off her for a while. But then she disappeared and I just rushed out screaming back to the school. I was really terrified. I've since talked to my friends and to this day, they've never heard or seen this lady. But it was really, really terrifying at the time. In its heyday, the Hamilton Customs House employed 17 men to collect the duty on goods brought in by longshoremen, sailors, railwaymen, and teamsters who came through there every day. More recently, it's been an army recruiting center, a macaroni factory, a flop house, a martial arts center. In 1995, it became the Workers' Heritage Center but it's a museum with ghostly inhabitants. The legend of the Dark Lady begins in England. A young girl who was living in a small community in the middle of England was raped and she decided to move here to Canada. During her voyage aboard a ship, she met the captain of the vessel and the two began a long love affair over the many weeks it took to get from England to Canada at that time. Now, for quite a while, no one knew about the love affair between the two until crew and passengers alike began to see this love affair taking place in the dark corners of the vessel. By the time they reached Hamilton, he knew that he had to put an end to any possibility of more rumors beginning due to the fact of his upstanding position as a captain of a ship and his family back home in England. So when they arrive at the customs house, he takes her down into the basement, strangles her to death. And takes her into a room now affectionately known as the vault, where he spends the rest of the day walling her body up. To this day, an image in dark clothing is seen roaming around these hallways and has been for well over 100 years. The paranormal investigators from Haunted Hamilton have come to the Customs House hoping to make contact with, or at least document, the spirits people claim to have encountered. You guys picking up anything yet? Actually, you're standing in a sensitive spot. There's a woman running up and down these stairs. She's looking for a child, calling out for a child. Is that the little boy that's been seen on the steps? No. Yes. Oh, cool. He sits on the stairs here peeking through. And it said there's a step up there, and it's wheeled away the most, and that's where he has been spotted sitting there, with his head in his hand. Yeah. Several people have seen him up there. And the temperature's going up too. 55, 5, 55, 6. Seven. Eight. Are you here with us right now? Are you hiding from your mom? Looks like it. Oh. Wow. Like you hear? Yeah, I can hear that. He wants to show us something upstairs in the attic. His mother's not the same woman from this room, is she? The one who was uh, abused in this room? Uh, I don't think no. so. No. No, it was somebody who worked here, was a servant in this house. 
History bears out the paranormal team's experience. A servant girl did indeed die in the house in a particularly horrible way. She was decapitated. She had prepared a meal and was about to send it up in the building's dumbwaiter. She summoned the waiter down to the kitchen and waited. After what seemed like an unusually long time, she opened the hatch and poked her head in to see what was causing the delay. At that instant, an unknown person cut through the rope pulley and sent the elevator hurtling down, severing the kitchen maid's head. I don't get hurt in here at all. Really? This is the pendulum board. The pendulum works the same way as the mining rods. You ask it yes, no sort of questions and watch it spin different ways to answer. With a pendulum board, you can get more defined answers. Is there really a dark lady in this house? Was she really buried in this room? Activity upstairs. Should we go up to the attic? All right, let's go. After the break, ghost riding on the walls of Hamilton's Customs House.